about did Maya appear to you to be in pain as it progressed from November to December? She would verbalize that she was in pain. She would tell me. She would initially say it, and then we'd get to our business talking, or sometimes she had me paint her fingernails or braid her hair. And then we would do school, and she would kind of just be quiet the whole time, and randomly a nurse would come in and she'd tell them, I'm in pain. Where sometimes when she would tell me that, I, I would say, when the nurse comes in, tell them that, because I can't do anything about it. Or I would just try to comfort her verbally. And when she told you observed her telling the nurses this, was there a reaction, one of concern or one of indifference? What was the reaction? Um, mostly indifference. How was she doing, other than the pain she was expressing, how was she doing physically as the time went on in the hospital? So as the time went on in the hospital, she looked like she did when I had seen her the year before. The progression was very similar from outgoing and bubbly at the kitchen table, and she would sit up in bed or we'd get in the wheelchair and go down the hall, to then she didn't want to get out of the bed. Her legs and feet had gone in again, um, and she would just lean back and was kind of surrounded by pillows. So I definitely saw her following exactly what happened the previous year. Uh, this all ended in January of 2017. Right. At December of 2016, do you have any contact with Beata about how Maya was doing? I don't recall that I ever could tell her Maya looks awful again, because I think that would have broken her heart. And I think because I knew Jack was able to relay what Maya looked like in bed, I figured he would be the one that could have told her how Maya was doing. In this third month of her admission, how did you feel going to visit Maya as she was getting worse and you didn't feel comfortable telling the other? So it, it was feeling kind of desperate at that time because now I, I feared she wasn't getting out. This was going on too long and something more serious was going on. Um, she was looking worse, like right before they went to Mexico. So I, I, I kind of had hope in a weird way. I thought whatever treatments the hospital could give her, because how it had been described to me previous was... Let me just re-ask the question. Okay, okay. How did you feel being in this position where you felt uncomfortable relaying what you were observing to Beata and seeing Maya deteriorate? Just judge the objection on the relevance. I'm going to overrule the relevance. She can answer that question. <clears throat> um, it felt very difficult to not tell Beata because Maya looked really bad. It reminded me of what she looked like the year before. And because Jack could see her, I just assumed Jack was telling her. It's a very difficult for thing for me to not communicate that to Beata. How did you learn what happened with Beata on January 8, 2017? Jack texted me on my phone. Did you attend the funeral? Yes. There were a few celebrations of life. And then when Maya came home, did you resume tutoring again? Yes. So you'd seen her, of course you'd seen her over these months in the hospital. Mm -hmm. You'd also seen her outside of the hospital before she went in. Right. And you saw her when she came out of the hospital. Correct. Was she better or worse? And if you could describe to the jury, how so? 
After the hospital? After the hospital. Um, of course, she was super depressed or sad because she lost her mom. Um, uh, I think just like a breath of fresh air emotionally and mentally because she had Kyle and her dad. Um, still seemed really weak. Initially, was super weak at the funeral. Looked tired. Um, but it took a while. Um, maybe to April or May that she looked like she had strength again. Um, she attended the graduation at school. And um, I think it by then, she was doing the wheelchair again. That was always a good indicator for me if her upper body was strong. And um, we had given her a Taylor Award, and so she was recognized at the graduation, and she seemed to try to, see, she seemed happy again. Were Beata's concerns that Maya wasn't going to make it in the hospital justified from your perspective? Your Honor, on speculation. Same. Were there times that you thought Maya wasn't going to make it in the hospital in late December, early January? Objection again, it calls for a medical opinion. Yeah, that. <clears throat> she looked like she did the year before, right before she went to Mexico. So she looked sunken in eyes gray skin, she'd lost weight. She was definitely not getting better. And yes, if I had been a mom, I would have most definitely thought, this girl's not gonna make it. And as you finished out her fifth grade year now, mm -hmm. was she determined to get better? Maya was always determined to get better. She was a little feisty fighter. She was not going to let this break her, and she wasn't going to let a wheelchair limit her. She was always a fighter. So yes, yeah, she was going to fight. Was she like her mom in that way? <laughs> yes. She was a lot like her mom in that way.